Hello, I am the Atheist Gamer, and you know, today I'm gonna do something a bit different. I'm gonna read this article uh, that I found uh, thanks to uh, Kirito, whatever his name is. You know, he's on DeviantArt. Uh, he made a comic about this. Uh, remember how feminists were complaining about how Se Assassin's Creed uh, didn't have female characters? Well, now they're <laughs> complaining that these fe that there are women in Assassin's Creed. I wish I was making this shit up. <clears throat> Assassin's Creed syndic syndicate developer nakedly exploiting feminism for cheap PR. Oh goody. Historically games have respected women about the same as you might respect a banana peel or use tissue. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but women have been respected in games for a long ass time. I mean, people like yourself never see this shit. You're, you're as blind as a fucking bat. Women have been sexualized, objectified, belittled, discriminated against, and misrepresented at every juncture. Oh, the humanity. Fuck you. But in the past couple of years, more and more games have started to feature women char women characters not as damsels in distress or jiggly physical enable arm candy, but protagonists like The Last of Us, Left Behind, and Tomb Raider are a couple of noteworthy efforts, even though Anita Sarkeesian basically said that Tomb Raider is basically trying to pander towards the male audience by making her more muscular. There, there's literally no pleasing these feminists. Also, Gone Home, which is a very terrible game. It's, it's, it, it doesn't deserve 20, you know... It's just, it's just not that good, okay? It doesn't be, deserve to be on par with games like Borderlands or um, Bioshock. It, 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 it's basically a simple game. Why do we have to pay 20 fucking bucks to play that game? It's, it's just stupid. Life is Strange, Remember Me. By no means have these titles fixed gaming's relationship with women, but they are, for the most part, a step in the right direction. At the very least, they are a step towards the right direction. <laughs> Lately, however, I think there's been something optimistic about the way games are treating women. The amount is this week that the new Assassin's Creed entitled Assassin's Creed Syndicate would feature a playable female as well as a male protagonist smacks me to to me not as an industry that generally cares about women but one that is prepared to use them for the sake of publicity. Oh, really? Like, y you feminists are complaining that there's a lack of women in, in, in video games and now that they're giving it to you, it's like, oh, oh, now you, you, you don't really care. You're just doing this because you're, you're doing it at publicity. That's it, a publicity stunt. I mean, holy shit. What's wrong with you people? Is there no end to pleasing? Just there's no end, isn't there? The fact that female characters will be playable is a press release at all. That Ubisoft, the game developer, felt it premeditated to drip release that information. Make me feel as if a woman, especially in this case, has been become a cynical kind of marketing tactic developed to whip up online chatter between Gamergate sexists, fuck you, and to make the rest of us normal people simply feel a bit warm and fuzzy. Y you people are n normal? Normal. The normal people. And, and Gamergate sexists. Like, are you really that fucking normal when... When you bitch and moan about how uh, Assassin's Creed doesn't contain women, but when they do, you bitch and moan that it's like, you know, they give you what you wanted? I mean, it's just no pleasing you, isn't there? Storing up publicity or covering their backs. I'm revealed, I mean, relief, of course, that women are finally receiving some statue in video games. Really, really, like, like, like. Like, seriously, I, I can name a couple of games that contain female protagonists. Let's see, there's um, uh, let me let me, I'm trying to think of one right now. Uh, 
Oh yes, Oni from um PlayStation Two. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, let's see, Heavenly Sword contains a female character. Metroid, of course. Uh, let's see what else if I can think of any. Uh, Athena on the NES. It's a shitty game, but it still counts. Let's see what else I can think of. Hmm. You know, they're, they're, I, I gotta try to think of women that are not to sexualize. Because, you know, if I bring up any female characters that, you know, is, in fact, strong, independent, but, you know, have, you know, they're, they're attractive then holy shit, it's sexist because it makes men give a fucking boner. That's it. Uh. But these pre-launch, we will have to, we will have female characters press releases like Syndicate, like Bedem, like this form of Mortal, Cop, Mortal Kombat X developers. Don't feel to me like developers trying to include I mean, great, in great women into games. Instead, it feels like game makers are either trying to stir up publicity or merely covering their backs and demonstrate like relis I can't pronounce that word to the health respecter, and that they are trying to compensate with expected standards. There, there's a you want it here. You then you have it. Kind of tone of announcements. If these developers and writers actually thought or cared about women, they wouldn't shout about it in this way. Even though you people always constantly complain about it! This isn't what the progress of creating gender equality in games look like. More helpful, more powerful would be to simply have female characters in games for them to be simply be there. Not for developers to point out and proclaim it's like it's some sort of noteworthy oddity. Immediately, it is noteworthy. As I said before, uh, video games traditionally have treated women abysmally wrong. You've been brainwashed by Anita Sarkeesian, who basically used her golden hoops of power to basically brainwash you into thinking whatever she says is absolutely true. She can simply say the sky is purple and you would agree with her without any thought. And anyone who dares to question Anita Sarkeesian is automatically, uh, automatically marked as a fucking sexist. But I don't think it's instructed or helpful to draw direct attention to women being in games. It still feels like the progress of othering women only now approached from a different angle, othering but via the back door. Uh. As long as the existence of female playable characters or just female characters that aren't heinous crack 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 creatures is drawn attention to women in games will feel like an alien presence. You might argue that developers announcing their female characters this way is spreading the word somehow. It is encouraging other game makers to do the same. But I don't buy that. This is just marketing. Just like on how they do this constantly over and over again. I mean, you are you really that fucking shocked? Video game companies have been doing this shit for a long time. They have a target audience and they go for it. And most of the time it works, but other times it doesn't. <laughs> Why do you think their target audience when it comes to action video games is usually towards males? Because males are typically the ones who are playing this game. The female characters in video games are not given half as much as attention as their male oppressors. Fuck you again. On the contrary, they're still objects being flaunted and torted by developers, only now via different body language. Really? Really? Especially in the case of Syndicate, female characters feel like a bandage of honor that the developers had chosen to wear not out of any sense of purpose of principle, but simply for reasons of appearance, simply for convenience. It is an affection. If you're using women characters so nakedly as marketing material, I can't possibly believe that you actually care about them. Just like on how they use men. 
But guess what? It's just not the same because, once again, it's a male power fantasy to have, you know, muscular men fighting demons, hordes of men or demons or God knows what else. I mean, for fuck's sakes, I played a game where there's a fucking chicken killing a bunch of blocks. I mean, there's a game called Mort the Fucking Chicken, and what you do there is rescue chicks as, as a chicken, and you kill cubes. Those are your enemies. I'm not making this shit up. <clears throat> okay, um... Let's see, if you did, you wouldn't reduce them to a mere window dressing. <laughs> It's better than nothing. It's the best defense I can come up with for this kind of marketing. Or rather, it's better than what pre-moded, pre pre predominated before. Which is still women being used to promote games. Except barely clothed because Lucarusty promotes his sexist culture, but it's still tragic. And once again, we, we both men and women are objectified. It, there are men out there who basically are half naked to sell any fucking product out there. Okay? It's not that uncommon to do. It's not uncommon to see. Hell, there's a fucking shirt that contains half naked men on it. But for some odd reason, you know, we're in a place like, you know, um, remember Shirt Gate where that guy got threatened by hundreds if not thousands of hungry feminists for dare wearing a shirt that contains half naked women but you know if it was the other way around it's just perfectly fine because guess what sexism towards men does not exist at least in the feminist holy bible what dire straits in is video games is when the mere presence of a woman in a game in any role outside of a damsel or eye candy is considered newsworthy. Not just by the game developers, but by the press also. How long do your standards as a creative have to be, I mean have to be, that you contact journalists to boost how your lately story has a woman in it? Mainly because people like yourself still bitch about how there's a lack of women. Ed Smith writes about the game's film and cultures for IB Times UK. He has also written the Observer Vice News Statesman and Edge Magazine. Find him on Twitter. Most encycl... I, I can't pronounce these words. Uh, the rest is just the same. So, uh, basically, I'm completely done here.